What's going on YouTube? So of course the Mercedes S-Class has long been regarded as the benchmark luxury sedan which everyone else measures themselves against. But this generation is on its way out and we've seen leaks of a very different upcoming S-Class which prioritizes technology in a bigger way than ever before. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and see if you should buy this S560 or if you should wait for the new model. Okay, so let's go ahead and start things off with the exterior. Now, one word really sums up the way this exterior looks as a whole, and I think it is stately. Just an absolutely classic design that really just never seems to age. And that starts right up here with the hood ornament mounted up on the top of the hood, and the classic Mercedes-Benz grille. Now we have the AMG line on this specific example, but there is actually not a sport grill for the S-Class. You always have the luxury grill. However, AMG line does change the lower fascia to be a little bit more aggressive looking. Now turning over here to your headlights, obviously you're going to have standard LEDs, um, and it has a really intricate design, lots of different types of shapes here, really a cool classic look. And then down below here we have an accent, with a brake cooling duct. Moving down here to our wheels, of course, like pretty much every aspect of the vehicle, they are very customizable. Where you'll start is going to be an 18-inch alloy, but you have a wide selection of 19 and 20-inch alloys, including these which come with the AMG line and have the nice gray accents. And then coming up here to your mirrors, obviously they are fully loaded. You have every feature, auto dimming, power folding, heating, and blind spot monitoring. All right, so before we get around to the rear design, let's stop here at the side and just admire it here for a second. Now, Mercedes is a little bit guilty of making a lot of their sedans look pretty similar. However, at this side, this is where you can tell that this is an S-Class because it is absolutely, it looks like a limo. It comes in at 207 inches in length, which really just gives it that elegant and stately look that Drew was talking about in the front. Now, as far as the rear design itself, uh, Mercedes is gonna have their timeless U-shaped trunk design with these vertically LED taillights uh, accenting it. And then down below, we do have dual chrome exhaust tips, which really finish off that classy look. Now, as far as your safety systems are concerned, Mercedes is gonna throw in a handful of standard ones, uh, all the basic ones that you would expect. However, if you want all of the active and really high-tech ones, you're gonna have to go for the driver assistance package. That includes a plethora of active safety systems and semi-autonomous driving. Basically, anything you're gonna want is gonna be included in that package. But anyway, that sums up this 2020 S-Class's really, really classy exterior. So let's go ahead and hop inside to the opulent cabin before we take it out in a spin. So of course, as you would expect from your S-Class, uh, you do have a smart entry system, and this is now standard on every single model for 2020 with the typical Mercedes key fob. Now to get inside the vehicle itself, you just grab behind the handle since there is a sensor and your mirrors will also fold outward. Now as far as the cabin, as soon as you look in, you see the signature design language that really set the benchmark for the rest of the Mercedes lineup. Now, as you would expect, you really have an endless number of leather and material combinations you can choose in this cabin, starting with fine Napa leather, a standard, and your choice of black, silk, nut brown, porcelain, or magma. Uh, you can also get diamond stitching, and you have some Desenio semi-aniline options, uh, which come in silk with blue, gray, or satin accents. 
And turning over here to your door trim, it is of course absolutely beautiful. You have leather over every single part of it, including the very top. Um, you will also find three person memory seating, of course standard. Uh, you also have heated, heated and ventilated seats and the seats themselves are going to be 16 way power adjusting uh, as well as having a power adjusting headrest, which is really nice. Um, you can also option on massaging abilities, which we do have on this specific example. And then finally, all four of your windows will be one touch automatic. Now, of course, the seats themselves, they are absolutely beautiful, finished in the finest leather, really soft and supple, and have a lovely design with color contrast piping as well as quilting. And you do also have soft closed doors. Now, like I was saying, this really what became the design direction of the entire Mercedes-Benz lineup. And it continues to be an absolutely exquisite cabin. So across your upper dash, this of course is going to be full leather um, with the color contrast piping. Dropping down to the middle, we have a quilted perf and perforated leather that runs all through here. In the middle, you have your choice of a lot of different trims. We have the black lacquer. Um, so it's basically a piano black trim, but of course you can get all sorts of different woods. All through here is gonna be real metal. We have more leather that runs all the way down to the bottom. So you can rest your knee against and blend seamlessly in with the armrest. And of course, you don't need me to tell you, everything in here fits together absolutely perfectly. Now start it up, you have push button start. So of course, this S-Class does come with these signature dual 12.3 inch displays that it popularized through the Mercedes lineup. And you will find the same, you know, setup here in this S-Class and the gauges. So you can, um, you know, do the typical things, including change the themes and fully reconfigure this display any way you want it. Um, you can also add a head-up display, which we do not have though. Then coming back to the steering wheel, of course, we have electric power assisted steering. We have a beautiful steering wheel with real leather, that lacquer trim and metal through here and leather across the airbag cover. Obviously, this is going to be power adjusting. Uh, you can also add heating in the warmth and comfort package. And when you add steering wheel heating, that will also throw in heated armrest. Okay, so now let's go ahead and check out the interior storage. Now, I'm not surprised in a big sedan like this to find that we have a giant center console. Definitely very deep and of course, nicely felt lined. Also inside, you will find your wireless phone charger, as well as two USB ports and a place to do some, to do NFC pairing right there. Now, for the coupon test, which may not seem to make a lot of sense in a vehicle like this, but it actually does. You've got to save money somehow to be able to afford something like this, and that's one way. And they fit perfectly without even having to fold them. Okay, now in front of that, you have your little controller here. Uh, you can also slide this back to reveal two cup holders and a tiny slot right there, but most of your storage is going to be right there in the center console. Now, of course, in typical Mercedes fashion, this vehicle does come with their electronic shifter. So you pull down for drive. You will find paddle shifters on board as well. And then you bump up for reverse. Now, once in reverse, you will find a 360 degree camera if you choose to have the premium package like we have. And as you can see, you have both your traditional view as well as your 360 view. And then off to the side there, you can switch angles as well. Now new for 2020 is that the active parking assistant is now standard across every single S-Class. And then for park, just press the end of the stock. Okay, so let's return back down here. So you find a lot of controls, not just for the command system, but also over here for your audio. Now standard on the S-Class is going to be a 590 watt 13 speaker Burmester sound system, which is what we have. So let's go ahead and take a sample of it. Sound 
quality of this system is phenomenal. But of course, in typical Mercedes fashion, you do have something a lot more advanced. You can get a Burmester sound system, which has about double the speakers and double the wattage. Okay, so let's roll on up here to our climate controls. Now, since this is, you know, a classy sedan, they have left things uh, physical here instead of electronic. So you can just make your adjustments to the temperature right there like that and your fan speeds as well. You can press the center button here to go into a menu and this is where you'll find some of the additional climate settings um, including turning on and off your air freshener system as well as your ionization. This is two zone automatic by the way unless you option on the three zone climate system. Okay, so let's look on up here at our command system with this standard 12.3 inch display. Now you notice I did say command since this is, you know, the last model year of the S-Class. It does still use the older style um, infotainment system instead of the new MBUX system. That being said, most of the operation is pretty much the same. Um, you will just notice that you this is not a touch display like it is in some of the newer Mercedes models. Of course, you will find an integrated navigation system, but you do have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay both on board if you prefer to use those. Now moving on up, we have our auto dimming mirror with three Homelink Universal remotes. We also have a dual panel moonroof. So there is a intersection there in the middle to house the rear mirrors, but you can open up that in two different pieces as well as operate a rear sunshade. Yes, you're gonna have to wake me up out of this rear seat because this rear seat, wow. Let me just go ahead and recline back up since I do need to talk about a few things back here. But this rear seat, honestly, now I haven't been in a Bentley or a Rolls Royce or anything, but this rear seat is hands down the nicest rear seat I've ever been in. Um, let's just go ahead and start with the space since there is quite a bit to talk about back here. Um, as far as your legroom is going to be concerned, it's going to come in at 43 inches of rear legroom and 37 inches of rear headroom, which is slightly behind some of its competition. However, of course, it's not going to be an issue. Behind your seating position, I probably have two foot of space and my feet can easily slide up underneath the seat. Um, so you are going to be very comfortable back here to say the least. Now, as far as your feature set, I'll go ahead and start here in the center. So in the center, we're actually not going to have our own climate controls, which is, it is optional. However, this particular model doesn't have it. I think that's a little, uh, little interesting. And then we have a little uh, storage cubby down here. And if we pop this thing out, we have a, a USB, a couple USBs in here. And then this center armrest does actually fold down. It's nicely dampened. You have a nice leather wrapping and inside we have a large area in here that's of course nicely felt lined. You could honestly fit a couple Burger King coupons back here as well. You have cup holders and we fold that back up. We're not done yet uh, because you probably noticed that we do have rear window sunshades. So you can of course turn, uh, do that on both of the rear windows as well as in the back here. And then you do also have control over this uh, rear window the moonroof sunshade as well and then up here on the ceiling you even have a nice mirror in case you want to gaze at yourself and your success and then you do also have a leather assist grip handle so honestly guys this is a fantastic rear seat um, and this is not even all the features you can get you can also get rear seat entertainment um, tables that fold out so really anything you want you can have it back here in this s-class and as equipped this is just a fantastic rear seat now walking up to your trunk here, the premium package is going to throw in a hands-free power one. So just wave your foot under the bumper to open. And once inside, you're going to find 16.3 cubic feet of space in this S-Class, uh, which does place it a little bit below the BMW 7 Series. However, it's mostly on par with the rest in the class. And as you would expect, it is finished very nicely back here. So we have a fantastic carpeting along the floor. And if we lift up the floorboard here, you will find additional storage. Um, however, I don't see a spare tire back here. I'm not sure if this car has that or not. And then up top, we do have a slide out tray. I don't know what you put in there, but 
you do also have that. And it is worth noting that these seats do not fold in this S-Class since they do have that reclining function. Uh, however, if you need to haul something, just go to your G-Wagon. Now, as you would expect here at the passenger seat, you have the entire plethora of adjustments, just like you would in the driver's side, as well as three-person memory. I did also forget the rear seat has three-person memory and heating and ventilation as well. And then, uh, up in front of the passenger, we do have a really nicely uh, dampened glove box. And inside, we have a CD and DVD player, as well as the Mercedes air fragrance system. And as far as, you know, putting in the coupons you know it's honestly going to be a little bit limited on the space since you do have all that fancy stuff in here but you can fit a few in there and up top we do have a sun visor with a light and led or led light and mirror and it does also detach and you have that unique uh, two-part sun visor setup where you can have it here as well as in the front <laughs> wow. Now, we drove the S560 last year, but it really doesn't cease to amaze. This thing is fast. It's wow. so big. You know, there's just, it's so substantial, so long. It's you don't limo. expect a limo like this to just scoot like that. The exhaust note too. Wow, <laughs> it sounds so good, but you know, honestly, you you just hear just a, a just tiny a touch of it. You know, uh, it's unlike the G wagon, where the G wagon you you really hear it. It feels like a muscle car. Yeah. This has like just a hint of it. You can kind of tell. You're like, it sounds really good, but you just can't really hear much of it because it is an S class after all. So as far as the engine itself, we haven't talked about that yet. Uh, it is a 4-liter handcrafted twin-turbo V8, and you're looking at 463 horsepower, 516 pound-feet of torque. So it definitely has lots of power on board. You know, but like Mason was saying, the objective here is just you know smooth yeah. power delivery because power is a luxury, um, but it's not like in-your-face no. muscle car anything like that. You know, it just it's smooth. It's in the background. Um, but you've got the power when you need it. All righty, and getting up to speed here, you know, <laughs> just as we said in the last year's S-Class review, this car is honestly shocking. The level of isolation that you get inside of this cabin, you feel like you're just in your own world. You're just floating around in your own world. You have no no sensation of really even moving, honestly. Um, and a lot of that just has to do with the level of noise entering into the cabin. This is such, such a quiet vehicle. I cannot even emphasize that enough, how quiet this vehicle yeah, is. like you sound like you're yelling right now. I know, I need to, I need to <laughs> tone it, it down. down. <laughs> it sounds like I'm in a library, but I will go ahead and get a sound level reading going. We're going 50 miles per hour, so. Yeah, going 50 miles per hour, um, we're looking at around 54 decibels, which anything less than around 57 or 58 is exceptional for that type of speed. And this is about three decibels <laughs> less than that. Um, so definitely just, one of the quietest cars we've ever sampled. And, you know, both on the measure, but then like audibly inside of the cabin. I, I can't really think of anything that compares. No. And then the stuff like that too, that just adds to that level of isolation you feel. We hit, you know, we take this loop pretty often mm -hmm. and that bump is rough. That's a really, really rough bump. And it's just like, it just blends right in the back. It's like there's no road imperfections yeah. at all. Like, look at this. What bump? You yeah. Know? It's just, yeah, you, just, you see it, but you don't feel it. 
it's honestly just incredible what Mercedes has done with this S-Class. This does have the air suspension, of course. Um, you know, I don't think we mentioned that up to this point, but obviously you do have the air suspension. Uh, so it does have a, adaptive abilities. So you'll, you know, when you're going down the road here, you just kind of, you know, like you say, you go over bumps, you kind of float around. But what I like about it is we also don't have like a nauseating, bouncing, yeah. you know, this isn't like your grandma's Buick. Um, it has control, so when you go around corners, um, you know, after you go over a bump, you don't have that rebounding effect where you just keep bouncing, you know, it brings it back under control quickly. Another thing that just plays into that, uh, just subliminal engine is that transmission. Um, you're actually looking at a nine-speed transmission, and I, I'm trying to pay attention to when it's shifting, but I honestly can't tell. <laughs> you have to watch, actively be staring at this to figure out what gear you're in. Even then, it's tricky. Now, 4 all-wheel drive is going to be available on this S-Class. It's not standard. It's a $3,000 option. Um, and then one thing I did forget to mention earlier in regards to this vehicle's performance is it's 0 to 60. Um, for this 560 with 4 it's rated at 4.5 seconds to 60. So that goes to show you, even though it may do it in a very classy and elegant manner, this thing scoots. Yeah, 4.6, that's really fast. Now, as with every vehicle that we're reviewing now, we're going to go ahead and point out the slam dunk and air ball for this S-Class. Now, I will go ahead and preface this by saying there are a lot of slam dunks in this S-Class, so it's kind of hard to narrow it down to one. Um, but what we came up with is just comfort. It's so comfortable. I, this is probably the most comfortable vehicle we've ever driven. Uh, we did it last year. We were in probably 300 different models since then, and there's just nothing that is this comfortable. It's insane, um, and that means you know in your ride quality, it's comfortable. The seats are comfortable. The rear seats are comfortable. That kind of goes all around because mm -hmm. yeah, I is an all-compass thing. Even with, within this class of yeah. limos, it's better. It's yeah. still more comfortable. Yeah. You know, it, it's crazy. And then as far as your air ball is concerned, <laughs> this is, yeah, Drew can take this, this one. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's almost silly what we have to, you know, dig up to point something out here. But uh, if I have to complain about something, I'm going to say the steering wheel. Not in the design, very elegant. Um, just that a lot of use of, you know, wood trim, or in our case, this black lacquer trim, it, you know, it's hard. Everything else in here is soft and, you know, lovely to touch. And then, you know, if I just hold on to the steering wheel is the only thing that's slightly uncomfortable if you go outside of this uh, small patch of leather here. So uh, it's not even really a real complaint because you can get a full leather steering wheel if you want. I would highly recommend that. And finally, I do want to talk about the fuel economy for this S-Class. Now, you're going to come in actually I'm kind of impressed by this figure actually. It's going to come in at 17 city, 27 highway, 21 combined, um, and that's with the 4MATIC all wheel drive system. Um, and that's this giant V8 engine um, hauling around a limo with, you know, a high 4.5 seconds, 0 to 60, and it still gets 21 miles a gallon. So I'm very impressed by that figure. Uh, it's, I think, I'm not. I don't really remember the A8's fuel economy, but I don't think that mild hybrid system makes it much better than that. So overall, what can you really say except for that this is a truly special vehicle? You know, from the moment you slide behind the wheel in this opulent cabin and look out over the long hood at your Mercedes emblem stuck up, you know, you just feel special. And then when you're driving around. You know, you are treated, at, you know, to the just the utmost comfortable experience. And, uh, you know, at the beginning, we asked, should you get this one or should you wait? Because this is its last model yeah. year. You know, and I have to say, there is really no reason to wait if you're, 
you know, if this is what you're looking for, this car has aged amazingly graceful. It is yep. still one of the finest vehicles on the road today. Alrighty, so now with the S-Class, of course, all of this isn't going to come cheap. Um, so for the very base rear-wheel drive S450, that's going to start at $94,250. The S560, which I think the majority of what they sell is going to be the S560, and what we have here is $104,450. And then if you want all-wheel drive, that's going to be an additional three grand on top of that. Now let me go ahead and pull out the sticker here and uh, go ahead and name you off some of the options. So we have the optional paint, $795, the Napa interior, $2160, uh, lacquer wood trim, $800, we have 20-inch uh, wheels, $750, exclusive trim package, $950, um, CD drive in the glove box for $130, LED logo projectors, $550, comfort box for $350, uh, all-season floor mats, $120, Driver assistance package $2,250, um, warmth and comfort package $2,600, AMG line $5,900, and premium package for $3,750. Um, that concludes it, so it's going to be a destination charge of $9.95 to bring this one's as tested price to $129,550. Um, a lot of money, uh, 130 grand, uh, but. Honestly, as you can tell throughout this review, there is no, honestly, there is no greater luxury. Um, you know, this is a bargain compared to something like a Bentley or a Rolls Royce. And uh, we haven't been in any of those vehicles, but honestly, I think that it couldn't be much better than this. This has got to be about as good as it gets. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed watching this in-depth look at the 2020 Mercedes-Benz S-Class. We really appreciate you watching, and if you made it this far in the video, hopefully that means you enjoyed it at least a little bit, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.